you are forgiven. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 19 It was God, personally present, in Christ, reconciling and restoring the world to favor with himself, not counting up and holding against men their trespasses, but canceling them, and committing to us the message of reconciliation of the restoration to favor. Most people mistakenly think they have to beg God to forgive them. Instead, God has already forgiven. It was his idea done on his own initiative. Whether you accept God's forgiveness and benefit from it is another question. 1 John 2.12 I write to you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. No matter what you have done, God has already forgiven you. God is not mad at you. Instead, he loves you and desires to have a close relationship with you. Yes, God is against sin, because sin is harmful to humans. But he has already made provision for you to be forgiven and set free from sin. Jesus Christ paid the price for all your sins and God is no longer holding any sin against you. You have been forgiven. When you accept that, you can begin to receive the benefit of Jesus' sacrifice. Ephesians 1 verse 7 In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Colossians 2 verse 13 And you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Through Jesus we have redemption from the devil and forgiveness for our sins. Wouldn't it be great if you could tell someone who has messed up their life that God is not mad at them and not against them? That he desires to be their friend and help them? Say this. Thank you Father God for forgiving me and loving me.